uh, the past two years being close against them at home sort of taught you guys the margin for error is so small against a team of that caliber? Uh, we just got to go out and just execute. You know, we've been working extremely hard in practice, even though it's a bye week. Uh, you know, we're just trying to mentally prepare ourselves for a battle with uh, the top team in the country. So you were one of about two or three guys that Spurrier mentioned is playing well in in the Auburn game. I and mean, what what did you feel like you did well specifically? What what did you do in his eyes to kind of earn that praise? Well, in the offense, I'm just starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. You know, I'm asking a lot more questions and just getting involved and uh, just learning the details of every play. Uh, Coach Junior has been doing a great job of coaching all of us up uh, to go out and play and, and just be prepared. To, you know, to make plays. So as long as we continue to have that focus we have in practice, we're going to be okay for Saturday next. Saturday. Saturday's game. Tori, in the first half, are you encouraged by the way you guys were able to move the ball through the passing game early, early on? Yeah, we're very confident in our offense. We just got to get it all clicking at once. We have to get the defense to play well, special teams, and uh, stay on top of, uh, of our offense attack. So as long as we go out and do what we do best, hopefully everything should work itself out. Was it frustrating in the second half? I know you guys didn't have the ball a lot. Did you sort of yeah, feel we, helpless on the side? We didn't have the ball, but uh, we still scored, I, I think, three or four plays. So, you know, it just lets everyone know that we're explosive and can score. Or it will. Tori, do you like the way the schedule breaks down and having a week to prepare for Alabama, or would you rather get right back on the field after the loss? Uh, well, we, it's going to give us some time to let our bodies recuperate because we've been playing football for the past five, six months. So, you know, we're going to take this week and just uh, do everything we need to do physically to prepare, prepare ourselves for next Saturday's game. Tori, right now, Alshon uh, leading the country with receiving yards. What about his game through these first four games has impressed you and even just the coaches? Well, he's just been working extremely hard, and you know we've both been pushing each other to become the best player we can be. And uh, right now, he's just he has the hot hand, and we got to continue to feed him. But we have other guys that can get the job done, so uh, we're gonna be okay. How important would it be if you stepping it up at the end? Uh, to not be able to double team Alshon when spent the first couple of days of practice since the Auburn game. What has been the focus of you guys, and, and, and have you guys pretty much put that game behind you? I mean, Coach Spurrier told us to put the game behind us, but I mean, it still hurts, but I mean, we just got to just focus on and continue trying to win the SEC. You said it still hurts. Were you kind of caught off um, guard by Coach Spurrier's comments where he said that until everyone on the team hurts as much as um, everyone really cares about it, that uh, you know the team will um, accomplish its goals? Man, I can't. I ain't got no comment on that. What is the kind of challenge with Alabama? I mean, you have an extra week to kind of prepare for them, but talk about preparing for Alabama and, and just that game in your mind, how big of a game it is. I mean, it's a big game for us. I mean, we're playing at home, so we're going to come out and um, we're going to try our best to um, come out with a win. This is uh, how to um, do things with, uh, with the players. Have you looked at your numbers, your total numbers? Do you know where you stand in the country? No, I ain't never looked at them, but like over the past couple of days, my teammates <laughs> was like ragging me about that. But I don't really get too big. We just got to continue winning. So, I don't care about that. So you know nobody in the country has caught more pet, has more yards than you? I mean, I know that now. My <laughs> teammates told me that. But I mean, it don't really matter to me. I mean, I'm worried about us winning, trying to win the SEC. I guess defending national champions is the second time you're going to play against them at home. Did you say thoughts last year? Did you learn that the margin of error is so small with a team like that? Or? I mean, last year, I mean, we knew what to expect. I mean, but this year, I mean, we know what to expect. We just, we, like, last year, the game was pretty close. All we had, the game was right there for us. We just had to make plays down the stretch. So you feel more comfortable, I guess, this year? Oh, yeah. As a tiny national champion? Oh, yeah. Tell me what's the key of the red, offensive red zone success. I mean, the key is, like, I mean, whatever the fake, whatever the coaches call, I mean, they call a run for Marcus, I mean, a quarterback run for a, a pass to me, or Jason, Tory, Ace, or DL, whoever's out there. I mean, whoever's running the up, who's the quarterback, I mean, whatever the coaches call. And the offensive 